Hi everyone and welcome to another video from this pair repair. If you drive a petrol or gas driven car, not a diesel one, sooner or later you may have an ignition coil problem. This video should help you recognize that problem on time so you can fix it and perhaps avoid bigger problems. So stay tuned. DespairRepair.com Be sure to visit us at our website DespairRepair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. Before we start, just a few words about how the ignition coil works and what is its purpose. The ignition coil is essentially an electric transformer that turns the low voltage from your car's battery to a high voltage needed to produce a spark with the spark plug and to ignite the air fuel mixture. This system replaced the older system with the spark plug cables and distributors. The most common reason why ignition coils fail is material fatigue and heat from the engine. So the coils have a lifespan of their own. These coils are not only exposed to high voltage all the time, but they are also exposed to constant heat from the engine since they are mounted on top of the engine head. Rough idling. The first symptom of a bad ignition coil you'll probably notice is rough idling. At first, the rough idling may be occasional and last for only a couple of seconds until the engine warms up a bit, but as the ignition coils start failing more and more, the problem will get worse. Soon, the rough idling will be present as soon as you start the engine. The check engine light appears. The next probable symptom is the appearance of the check engine light. If you were to connect an OBD tool, you would probably get the DTC code P0301, P0302, O303, or else, all depending on what cylinder is misfiring. Also, you may get a bad oxygen sensor code, since the air fuel mixture is seriously disturbed and the oxygen sensor reacts to this. A bad smell and water coming from the exhaust pipe. The next symptom is a bad smell from the exhaust pipe. It can be a sulfuric, foul smell that much resembles the smell of rotten eggs. Also, you may see a significant amount of water dripping from the tailpipe. A higher fuel consumption. You may also notice that the fuel consumption is higher than usual. At first, this may be barely noticeable, but later, and this is a rough estimate, it can be higher from 30 to even 50%. Bad engine performance. All of this will be accompanied by bad engine performance, which is logical since one or more cylinders are not working. You'll best notice this by the slow and numb gas pedal response. Also, you may feel a slight jolt before the car starts accelerating. Also, the engine may frequently stall just before you start to accelerate. Engine misfire. Now come the more dramatic symptoms on this list and one of them is engine misfire. The engine will sputter or you'll even hear an occasional cracking sound. You can easily notice this by listening to the engine but also by listening to the exhaust pipe. The car goes into limp mode. Due to one or more cylinders not working, the car may likely go into limp mode. So, you may experience a total loss of gas pedal response, the revs may be limited, or something else, all depending on the type of car you have. All of the engine cylinders are not working. At this point, the ignition coil is probably totally failing, resulting in one or more cylinders not working. You'll notice this by the violent shaking of the engine in the engine bay and the strange sounds it produces. Instead of the standard purring and smooth running of the engine, it will sound like the engine is coughing and stuttering, it will produce a sharp clunking and thumping noise, in the lack of better terms. A cracking noise coming from the engine bay. One more symptom of a bad ignition coil, although this is more rare, is that you may hear a distinct cracking noise when the engine is running. This is usually caused by a cracked or damaged coil casing that happens due to excessive heat exposure and material fatigue. Because the housing isolation is cracked, the high voltage spark jumps around the coil onto the engine instead of going directly to the spark plug, which then causes the cracking sound. Heavy cranking. 
If you haven't addressed the problem of a bad ignition coil even after the appearance of all of the stated symptoms, you may face the problem of the car not starting at all. So all you'll get is heavy cranking, perhaps the engine will want to start but it will not happen. This mostly happens when multiple ignition coils fail at the same time or perhaps some safety system on the car disables the engine from starting. The best time to react to a bad ignition coil problem is when the engine starts idling roughly and the check engine light appears. Then you should connect the OBD tool, if you get the code, then change the bad coil and that's it. But before that, also it would be good to check the electric connectors and the wiring to them. These often become brittle and may fail and crack due to constant heat exposure. Also checking the spark plug even better, you should check all of them, is good practice when doing this job. So that's it for this time, we hope the video helps, please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.